Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my empties video. And this is my empties from July and August. I got a little lazy in July and did not film my empties, which I didn't really have a whole lot in July. So I just combined them together and there's really not a whole lot. Um, so anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been. Well, I went on a cruise and um, so anytime you go on a trip, there's always a lot to do. And my husband kind of surprised me with going on a cruise. He had been talking about going on a cruise and he told me he booked us a cruise. And normally when you book a cruise, usually it's like for a year out. But when he booked it, it was like we were going in three weeks. So I had a lot to do in three weeks time before we went on our um, seven day cruise. And we went to the Bahamas. Mm, yeah, and we we got back just in time before Dorian hit. So um, thank goodness, thank goodness we got back when we did, and that we went when we did. Even though it did rain the whole time that we were gone, and a lot of our um, shore excursions that we had planned that got canceled that we didn't get to do. So unfortunately, because of the rain, but. We did. We went on a cruise to the Bahamas and we had a good time. I'm probably the only person that goes on a cruise to the Bahamas and comes back with no tan whatsoever. <laughs> and that's why, because um, there was no sun. <laughs> there was no sun, um, but just maybe one or two days for just a little bit. And uh, the rest of the time it was cloudy and rainy. But anyway, we had a good time anyway. This, this, despite all of the rain and anyway it was good to get to get away and to be um, at a point to where our phones we opted not to get an internet package so we can even get on internet and we opted um, not to do anything with our phones to where we could be contacted through our phones um, we could have through our, our phone supplier through AT&T um, our son-in-law could have hooked us up to get international at a certain rate added to our package but we decided not to we didn't want to be bothered while we were on vacation and it was so nice not to have my husband's phone especially goes off non-stop non-stop and it was just so nice not to have that phone ring not to have it ring not one time while we were gone. It was so nice. But anyway, we, we had a good time. So anyway, so that's where I've been. Um, of course, you know, you have a week, two weeks, you know, getting prepared to go on vacation, then you're gone on vacation, then when you get back, you have to uh, recoup from being gone on vacation. <laughs> so, and um, unfortunately for me, um, this is my third cruise that I've been on and I suffer tremendously when we get back on dry land. Um, it's called land sickness. Um, I basically feel like I am still on a cruise ship, still on a cruise. I still feel like I'm going like this constantly. There's not really anything that can be done for it. It just has to wear off and um, from past experience it will take anywhere from 30 to 60 days for mine to wear off and it's very very frustrating um, for your equal equilibrium to be off like it is for me and it's by the end of the day I'm just so irritated and annoyed from going like this all day when nobody else is going like this <laughs> but anyway so I am um, I had a good time I was really hoping that this time would be different because I did some things I googled it and tried to do some things before we went that I was hoping would take care of that and fortunately it did not so anyway so I still feel like I'm on the cruise ship I still feel like I'm white riding the waves anyway so anyway but anyway so let's oh and I have gnats does, does anybody else fighting gnats we, before we even left, we were fighting gnats. But anyways, I have gnat 
traps set up. They're doing a good job, but here's my dilemma. I don't know if they are attracting gnats or if they are just, um, if they're causing more gnats or if they're just uh, getting the gnats that we already had. That's my dilemma. What it is, it's um, dish soap, it's um, equal parts of dish soap and apple cider vinegar. So I don't know if that apple cider vinegar is attracting more gnats or if it's just attracting the gnats that are already in the house. That's my dilemma. <laughs> so anyway, all right, let's get to the empties. I have some body wash. This is from Jason. Um, it's the aloe vera one. And um, I get the, where did I get this one? I got it at TJ Maxx. If you can't find it at TJ Maxx, you can order it off of Vitacost. I like the Jason, this brand of uh, body wash because it doesn't irritate my arms. I'm very sensitive to body washes that are very highly fragranced, like Bath and Body Works um, body washes. I can't use those because they will make me want to claw my skin off. They make me itch so bad. This doesn't do that. Um, this scent, for me, it did not smell like aloe vera. To me, it had almost like a sweet mint smell to it, but I looked in the ingredient because I could have swore that there was some kind of mint in here, and there might have been, just maybe it was under... A, uh, maybe it was underneath a scientific name and not just saying, you know, mint leaf or something like that. But anyway, um, I liked the smell of it and I didn't mind it, but um, to me it didn't really smell like aloe vera. But anyway, anyway, I finished one of those. I finished up an all clean um, cleansing balm. This is what I use to take off my makeup. It's one of those cleansing balms that once you start um, putting it on as solid and then when you start um, moving it around it turns into an oil that removes all the makeup and then when you start um, putting water to it it emulsifies kind of turns into a milky solution and then just takes all the makeup off and um, I like it because it has this little flip top right there and then it has a little lid and then it came with the little scoop and this is a um, Korean brand here and I'm pretty sure I either got it off of Soko Glam, Peach and Lily, or Wish Trend, one of those three, um, during a Black Friday event. And this is by the brand um, Hamish. So it's a really good one. I like it. And would definitely um, consider repurchasing that. Another makeup remover that I have used for years and years and years and years. I started purchasing this. Um, when I used to watch Q QVC um, religiously, I don't hardly ever watch QVC anymore. Um, but this is Purity Made Simple, and I don't need to repurchase because I have one of those great big old bottles of it. And um, but I had a smaller one, and I'm going to keep this container because I like to use this size container at my um, bathtub because it's just easier to handle. Than the big container so but I did finish one of those this is my favorite for like I said for taking makeup off this will remove everything as far as um, mascara eye makeup and it doesn't irritate your eyes that's what I really like about it you don't have to worry about it stinging your eyes if you happen to accidentally get some in your eyes it's not going to sting and I like it because it takes everything off I've used it for years. I think I said that though, but I have used it for years and years and years. Here's another little body wash that I had. This came in like a little sample pack or something to that effect, probably from Ulta. But it's the Hemp's um, Body Wash in Pomegranate. And I really did like this. This didn't irritate me. Um, I was very um, reluctant to use it and very cautious when I started using it, but it did not irritate me. So I would definitely consider purchasing this, but when I looked at the price, man, this stuff's expensive, so I would have to definitely um, get it like on a really good discount, maybe if I could find it at TJ Maxx or something like that, but it was good, and it smelled good. I liked it. Oh, from Cocando, I had a cleansing um, spa water. This, of course, is, you know, a makeup remover water, but I did not use it 
like that. I don't, I don't like cleansing waters to take makeup off. I don't think any of them work to take makeup off. I don't, I just don't, I just don't. But how I like to use this, oh, I am so sorry. My little undergarments just keep popping through there. Um, how I like to use this is in the morning time is I would use this as a part of my morning cleanse. And um, I would use this first, I would splash it on my face to get my face wet and then I would put it a little bit in the palm of my hand and put my cleanser, whatever morning cleanser I was using to cleanse my face, I would put that in the palm of my hand instead of tap water. So I would use this to start my morning cleanse with, with my cleanser and then I would use that use this instead of the tap water and then I would rinse my face with tap water so kind of like doing a double cleanse in one step so to speak but that's how I'd use my um, cleansing water so um, what I repurchase now because it's real expensive and um, no I just wouldn't repurchase it matter of fact I have several different um, I have some bioderma cleansing waters I think that I need to use and maybe a couple other different ones but I think once all of those are gone I'm not going to purchase any cleansing waters because I just don't really think that they really do anything and the way I just explained it is how I use my cleansing waters so I'm not going to repurchase any I just don't I don't need them here's another product from Cogendo that was really really pretty it was a foundation and um, they re since this one, this is the original one. Since this one, this one they've reformulated, and the reformulated one is a um, more of a heavier coverage. It's more coverage where this one was more dewier. I liked this one. I, I wish they wouldn't change things. Why change things? If it's not broke, don't fix it. But this was the Aqua Foundation. And um, this one was in the color 012, which was a little bit too light for me, but I really did like it. It was just very, very, just a light coverage. It was very dewy, very fresh looking, and but it was expensive. It's like $65 or something to that effect. But like I said, they've reformulated, so now the new formulation is less dewy and a little bit more um, of a more fuller coverage, I guess, and I don't, so I don't foresee me, um, purchasing the new, the new formulation for that reason. Here's another product that's a really pricey product, and the only reason why I purchased this was because it was at the CCO, and it was on discount, and then it was on another discount, and it's from La Mer, and it was like, it was, it's an eye cream, the Illuminating Eye Gel, Eh, it was okay. Um, definitely not worth the full price tag that this product would be, which I don't even know what it would be. Probably over $100. No, not worth that. But I used it. I know I didn't pay. I probably paid $70 for it. It wasn't worth $70 either. So, no. Definitely wouldn't repurchase. It was okay. It was an okay cream. Not my favorite. So not going to repurchase. Here's another product that's a high ticket item that I got at the CCO at a good discount and even at a discount I wouldn't repurchase it. It's a um, the illuminating primer from Tom Ford. It was okay. I mean it was a pretty primer and everything but it was okay. It was okay. Not my favorite. There's other primers I have that are just as pretty that were a lot cheaper than what this was and the only thing that was good I mean it had a really pretty pump but you know the Becca primers are like this that were a lot cheaper than what this was so anyway I got it because I wanted it and it was on sale you know how we do it's on sale gotta have it it's Tom Ford I got it really cheap for Tom Ford. It was really cheap for Tom Ford. Anyway, a deodorant. Mm, enough said. Oh, this one, this one, this was a sad day when this was empty. This is Kate Somerville, the exfoliate. 
I love this stuff. I use this on Sundays when I do my hair, when I do my hair treatment and everything. I'm in the shower. This is a product that you put on as an exfoliation treatment on clean skin that's a little damp. And you leave it on for a couple of minutes. You do not want to leave it on past the two minutes because it will eat your skin because it's an enzyme um, peel basically and it's going to like it's like little pat mans that are on your face going doo -doo 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 -doo, eating all that little dead skin off this is what it looks like it's been around forever and ever and ever and ever um cut it open so i make sure i got everything out but i love this stuff and a tube of this will last you a long time because you don't need it to use it more than once a week once a week it really is is sufficient but this is a really good um exfoliating treatment to use once a week and just leave it on for a couple of minutes and then after it's been on then you just add a little water and you start moving it around and just kind of exfoliate a little bit and then rinse it off and your face will just glow for the rest of the week really really good like it here's another product I like and this is my um, hair treatment that I was just talking about that I do every week it's the Olaplex number three I do this on Sunday mornings. I will wash my hair, get up, get in the shower first thing, shampoo my hair, get put this on, get out while I get out, and I um, get all the water out as much as I can with my t-shirt, old t-shirt, and then I put this in like a quarter size, maybe a qu maybe a, a silver dollar size, about, about that much, about that much. Anyway, I'll put that in my hair. And then I'll go around because Sunday is my laundry day and my house cleaning day. Um, should be my church day, but um, it's not. Um, but anyway, I um, go around and I do all of my housework. And within two, three hours, then I, all hot and sweaty, the spin on my hair. Then I get back in the shower, shampoo it out. You, you definitely have to shampoo it out. Shampoo it out and then condition my hair and that's how. I get kind of shiny curls. It's very hard to get shiny curls and definitely with brown hair, shiny brown hair. But anyway, it's really hard to get shiny curly hair, curly hair to get to be shiny. But anyway, I really like this. I'm on my backup one and I was going to buy another one during that Sephora 20% off sale that just happened and I forgot. I let it slip by but that's all right they'll surely they'll have another one in November but anyway I really do like that then I have some up and up brand of the exfoliating um, cotton rounds we'll repurchase those I purchased some at Walmart the other day I forget what brand was it the Equate brand I think it is the Equate brand Ugh, I do not like those oh no Anyway, a more Pacific. This is the um, the essential cream fluid. It's a moisturizer. I don't like this. It's not moist. It's not enough moisturization for me. I really need a little bit more moisturization, more moisturizing. Even for daytime, this is not enough. And this stuff's expensive. This came in a kit that I bought last November during the um, holiday sale. The VIB event sale whatever that is that Sephora has that where you get 20% off mm, I didn't like it so I'm glad I got to try it in a you know a really good deluxe size sample now this stuff I did like this is from a more Pacific but I don't think I would ever buy the full size because it's so expensive but it's the vintage single extract essence oh my goodness it is so nice um, it's a really really good essence really good essence um it's got fermented green tea in it yeah it is really good i liked it i liked it a lot but like i said it's just so expensive jeepers that i just i couldn't see paying the price tag on it. especially when there's that one that i just did a review on that's from um fresh that's really good so not going to do that one. Oh, here's a toothpaste I finished up the toothpaste this is the Colgate optic white high impact white I do like this 
And I had a, from the Sephora brand, the Overnight Sephora Mask in Rose. And it looks like this. Now, they say that you're supposed to use this whole pack in one night. No, you can get like two to three uses out of this one little pack. This one pack. Yeah. So, use that sunscreen this is from Shiseido this is the urban environment urban environment oil free UV protector broad spectrum SPF 42 for face yes used up one of those this one of those that has that little shaker thing shaker ball in it I used up one of those um, a setting spray has the little top off of it because I don't like the sprayer in it so I always take these off and put it in an Urban Decay um, setting spray bottle and this is from um, Catrice is the Prime and Fime and this was the Dewy Glow fixing spray if you have oily skin or um, combination skin or if you do not like any kind of glow or if you don't like don't get this if you don't want to glow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying because this will make you glow. I like it. So, and I got this from Ulta, so I would definitely repurchase. And oh, this this was another product that I was going to buy during the Sephora 20% off sale, and I forgot. It's the Ola Henrik's Truth Serum, the Vitamin C Serum. I was going to get the full size. Forgot. Anyway, I'll get it in November hopefully. But anyway, I do like this. Probably one of my favorite vitamin C serums. We're almost we're getting to the end. I finished up from um, Algenist. This was a highlighter, a liquid highlighter. This was the Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops in the color Rose. And um, I just put a little bit of this in with my um, foundation was how I was using this and just putting it all over. And I did like this, but I don't, I'm not going to repurchase this. I don't even know how I got this. I have several of these in different colors and I don't remember how I got them. That's how long ago they've been that I've had them. So, but anyway. Um, finished up an eyebrow pencil from e.l.f. This is in the blonde color. And it's what I have on. But I like this. I mean, it's only like two bucks at Ulta. And I like it. I've repurchased already. Here's another um, illumination product from Burberry that I had, and this is the Fresh Glow, and it's a luminous fluid base in the color Nude Radiance. Again, I just use that again with foundation. Just trying to use these up. I have a lot of these type products floating around, so I'm just trying to use them up. And that was another one. And that's definitely not something I would purchase full size of. No. Too expensive. Um, here's another sunscreen sample that I use. This is from 3Lab, the Perfect Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. I didn't like this. It's kind of stung my skin. So I definitely wouldn't purchase that. And plus, this brand is expensive. So I like my Shiseido one better. So no. Finished up a eyeliner from Pure. This was the On Point, the On Point um, eyeliner in Heartless. I did like these. The only thing about these though is that they're self sharpening, meaning that when you put them in this little lid right here and screw them down, they sharpen automatically, and so that you have a fresh tip every time but I think the problem with that though is that it wastes product and so they don't last as long I found the more I used them the, the more I figured that out then I used a uh, lip liner look at this I mean I yeah I definitely got my use out of that this was an Urban Decay one this was from when um, they came out with um, a line when they collaborated with um, Gwen Stefani. And so I can't even tell you what the color was of this. It was a red. But I use this every, every every morning to align my lips and fill in my lips and I put a lip color on. So I finished it. Kind of sad to see it go. I really liked that. 
makeup sponge from Real Techniques, my preferred method to putting on my um, foundation. And then I have from the Grande brand, the Grande Primer, um, eyelash primer. This was sent to me through Octoly. I used it for like two months. I did not like this at all. This was not a good eyelash primer. This took, I mean, to even get anything on your eyelashes, you had to work and work and work and work and work and work and work to get this on there. It was not worth the trouble at all. And this is like 20 something dollars. Just get the one from L'Oreal. It's so much better. <laughs> And then I have some of my razors that I like to do my dermaplaning with. Um, use up three of those. I have a whole video on how I do my dermaplaning at home. If I can remember, I'll try and put a little eye card up here um, with that video on how I do that and where I get those from and what they're called and the whole nine yards. And then I have um, a little pack, some packs that I used on our cruise. One is from Belief, and that's the Moisturizing Eye Balm. This is a really good eye cream. If you're just wanting an eye cream that's just strictly for moisturization, this is a really good one to go to. And it's not that expensive because you really get a lot in the, the jar that they sell it in. And a little bit goes a long way, so that's really good. And then I had from Dr. Brandt a microdurabrasion um, exfoliating little pack. I just took that for some exfoliation. And then from Laneige, a water sleeping mask. This was really good. I really like that. And then I have some uh, makeup remover wipes. <laughs> One from Apple. I have these in every single um, <laughs> empties video. And then this is what I took on the cruise. And this was from um, Equate, the makeup remover brand. Um, these were these were horrible. These burned my eyes like crazy. And I don't use them on my eyes. I just just the fumes from these were horrible. I did not like them. Then I have some declutter products. Um, one is from Peter Thomas Ross. This is the oilless oil. What is this called? The oilless oil, 100% purified squalene oil. I have this about down to here, but I've had it for a really long time. I don't like the way it feels. I don't. I don't like. I don't like anything that's like a dry oil. And this is kind of how that felt to me, like a really dry oil. I don't like that. It's almost like someone taking their nails down a chalkboard or you know some people don't like the feel of a microfiber cloth this is what this feels like to me I just oh I don't like that and um, I'm not going to use use it I actually actually had pulled it out probably a year ago out of my stash and put it next to put it here on my makeup vanity for me to use and it has sat there for a whole year with me not even using it so I'm getting rid of it and then this one was from uh, Benigma the all-in-one face cream and I pulled this out to use it and it has gotten too thick on me I I can't do anything with it <laughs> I mean, it is like, you can't emulsify it. You can't do anything with it. It's just like, ugh, can't do anything. And it smells off, so I'm getting rid of it. It was almost gone. It was almost gone. See, that's what happens when you get too much. You get stuff, and then you put stuff aside, and you forget about it, and then it goes off, and then you've just wasted money. So anyway, that is it for the empties for July and August. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.